Hi, this is Jim Malcolm with Humanized Technologies coming to you from Stanford University in Palo Alto, California. I wanted to take you through a little bit of how it takes to actually live stream with the Views VR camera from location. So I am currently standing in the, um, the Memorial Court, which is the quad area of Stanford University, in and around some statues, um, the bronze, uh, bronze statues, which I'm gonna take you through here in just a minute. Nonetheless, I am uh, connected now to the internet using my mobile phone, so we'll see how well this all works. Um, but I am connected to the computer via a USB connection. It is important that you do use a USB connection, not only important, it's necessary, to use a USB connection to your computer because the Views camera is creating about one gigabyte of data for every one minute of recording. And so what we need to do in that process is bring the data over to the computer so that we can process it and then stream up the data that we want to the cloud. That being said, there's some basic setup buttons we have over here on the side. One is to flip our image. Uh, this is important if we're gonna go ahead and invert our camera, say I mount it from the ceiling or underneath some sort of scaffolding. Uh, the second button allows me to decide what I want my default field of view to be when somebody first puts on a headset. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and have them look directly at me. Uh, this next button here allows me to do what's called cut field of view. Let's say for a minute that really what I wanted to do was just broadcast, say, 180 degree field of view. I could dial that in here at 180 degrees, and then I could broadcast just that 180 degrees out as a live VR feed. Um, this next button here allows me to decide if I want to put a logo on the top and bottom of my image. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and keep one down at the bottom, which will be our Views logo, and I'll take the one out at the top entirely. And then this last little setup button allows me to do something like refine my stitching. This is where the system goes through and calculates out um, uh, stitch lines and stitch points. You can go back in and you can fine tune those using these settings down here. But for now, I think this looks uh, just fine, so we'll start with that. Um, I can also work on blending levels and color matching, as well as setting my overall levels. Let's say I really wanted to push the, the uh, saturation or something. I can do that using these features here. Once I've optimized my video the way that I want it to be and I'm ready to go live, all I need to do next is fill out these important boxes down here, your server URL and your server key. Now, the Views camera software is compatible with any RTMP server. And we've also programmed both YouTube and Facebook as primary um, default uh, broadcast platforms. So let's go ahead and broadcast live to Facebook today. So I'm gonna just choose Facebook. It gives me a link. I take that link and I go ahead and connect to the internet and I'm gonna choose this stream function. And what I'm gonna do when I go to stream is I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit and you'll see here if I'm a developer, a publisher or individuals. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose people to create a live stream. Now, in order to live stream, you do have to have an account with Facebook or YouTube. This is how they validate what uh, you're broadcasting, the fact that you're a real person. Uh, they check for things like copyright infringements and all that type of stuff when you're doing it. So anyway, I have now connected. I am connected to me as me on Facebook. Um, and I'm gonna hit create a live stream. Now, the first thing that you'll wanna do is using this settings box over here is just set the system and tell it that you are indeed going to be broadcasting um, 360 video, okay? That's probably the most important piece and the one that is often uh, forgot in the process. The next thing that you're gonna do is go ahead and take your server URL and I'm gonna hit Control C to copy it and I'm gonna move over to the Humanize software and I'm going to simply put my server URL and I'm gonna Control V to paste it in that spot. Now I need to do the same with my server key. So I'm just gonna go simply over to Facebook. I'm gonna select this, Control C to copy it. I'm gonna move back over to the Views software and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control V to post, or to, to paste. So now I have both of those in. I can go ahead and turn on my broadcast media and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Now, while this is launching, I will tell you that there are some additional settings down here that I can do. For example, I can tell the, the system to save a full resolution unstitched or stitched version of my video on my hard drive of my computer. 
Now this is important if I want to just stream, for example, a lower resolution quality, but I want to have that full resolution uh, content available for review or for posting after the event. Maybe I want to do editing or maybe I just want people to come back and watch that video in full resolution. All right, so we are now streaming out of our software. Now all I need to do is go back over to you look as, and I have to tell YouTube look as go live. So now what we've done is we are now live from campus. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this down for a minute. So it's really that simple. I am actually broadcasting live from campus uh, using a mobile phone. So um, the digital voodoo that's going on to make that possible is pretty compelling. So anyway, um, I will uh, post some additional comments down on the link. But for now, that's a nice little overview on how live streaming works with the Views VR camera. With that, I'm Jim Malcolm with Humanized Technologies, and I look forward to continuing the conversation.